Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. I'm going to do one cast today. I'm, uh, today is Monday the 12th of August. Water is off. I'm just below Short Creek and I'm going to try <clears throat> a couple of different things, but mainly centered around throwing sculpins. This is a uh, actually an articulated sculpin pattern big bushy ugly rabbit fur and I've got <clears throat> sink tip line got a lot of a lot of sink tip so this is going to drop and go right along the bottom <clears throat> I'm fishing this area because it's only about four feet deep all the way to the bank and I'm pretty sure that there's some browns hanging out around these lay downs. Um, it's one of these baits that you <coughs> can throw a lot and not get many bites so it's not going to be too exciting today. But this is something that I've been wanting to try for a while. Then what I'm going to do is fish here for a little bit, then I'm going to go up in the trophy area and do the same thing. <coughs> the sculpins are little, what we call dogfish. They look like little prehistoric catfish. They only get about four inches long, probably at the biggest. And they live on the bottom. They live in under rocks and in wood, any place they can hide, and they're bottom feeders. And browns especially target these fish a lot. Rainbows will eat them too. <coughs> Their mannerisms are really unique in the way that they will stay in one spot motionless pretty much a lot and then they'll dart one way or the other and then they'll stop that's kind of the way you fish these sculpins Ooh. Sink tips a little bit hard to throw sometimes. <clears throat> the way they're tied, they're supposed to ride hook up, but probably not that articulated so that you don't get caught on the bottom because you're really scooting this fly right along the bottom. So it could get hung up on the rocks or any kind of sticks or anything. And it's down there. I haven't fished it a lot. I think they fish it up below the dam a little more often than down here in the lake. But these fish will literally pick this fly up off the bottom. That's a little bit hard to detect the bite. I like to use it on a cloudy day 
course I prefer some chop on the water but that's all right oh no rain have rain completely missed us there forecasting two to three inches of rain it all went south of us we have another chance of rain tomorrow tomorrow morning Let's see if we get some we need the rain Sometimes when I go to strip it, it catches something and it feels like it's a bite. Well, it's doing pretty good. It's not picking up a lot of junk off the bottom. last cast then I'm gonna go up and fish around the mouth of Short Creek not sure how effectively I can fish how deep a water I can fish this Just run up here, not very far. Not very many people out fishing today.
try fishing this. Oh, there's a Pretty deep water out there. So let's see if this works. <clears throat> that line, that sink tip line takes it. It's really heavy, so it, the whole line will drop, sit on the bottom. I know I'm on the bottom. It's working. Just don't know if it's going to catch fish or not. That's a fish with a leaf on it. Ugh. Couple more cast up here and then we're gonna go up the trophy area. Last cast. Well, 
like I said, I've I've never done this before down here below Fall Creek, so. I have done it above Fall Creek in the trophy area where it's water's not so deep and doesn't I've caught fish on it but not great. And I don't see why it wouldn't work. So just keep working on it figure it out. Fly is staying really clean. I'm really surprised. I thought it would collect a lot of junk off the bottom, but it really didn't. Let's go on up. Okay, I'm up in the trophy area, and I'm going to start with the sink tip. I'm going to fish off the deeper side. on that house bank Dave from the time I left the time I got up here that sun has just about broken through the clouds, so I was really hoping for, it said cloudy until like two o'clock this afternoon, two or three o'clock. Looks like the clouds are gonna break up a little quicker. Not much wind today, and that, that's the other thing I thought with that front going through, I thought maybe we have a little bit more wind today. There's a fish. Oh, he hit that hard. Now I've got like 10 pound line on this sculpin, so <laughs> these little fish don't have a chance. Well, that's cool. He hit it hard. He hooked himself. Gosh, you can't let that sink tip sit in the water between casts.
the bottom up here is primarily gravel, so. like a tank. That was a tank. Ah. I am moving a little bit. I don't want to move. like a take two, but I am moving. Don't want to move. It's the bottom. Is that a bite? I felt like a bite. Let's check my fly. Yeah. Got to watch that special articulated that hook will come up and grab the line. Sometimes that happens when the fish takes it too. It'll cause that thing to ball up. <clears throat> Cool, it's, I'm just not connecting. And they're not hard hits, they're just, I don't know. Come on, fish. Might move out further in the channel too. Try it since I'm getting bites now in this deep water. There's a lot more things to get snagged on out there, but that's all right.
It's like they're just, maybe it's their small rainbows that are just tapping the tail. I don't know. Next time I'm going to go throw on the bank. Another little tap. Strange. Still trying to figure it out. Oh, there's a big log down there. I can't drag it across that log. I'm gonna get caught. I almost feel like this is too deep. I'm like eight or nine foot deep here.
also some logs up there. Okay, I'm gonna throw a couple a couple times this other direction. Probably call it quits. Throw over on the shallow side. shoot I, thought I was gonna get the camera that sun all right there's one other thing I was gonna try I kind of forgot about it and I'm gonna go ahead and try it real quick <laughs> got another fly rod that's got a sculpin pattern on it that's um, didn't have a sink tip on it And it is a uh, different color. It's not articulated. It's blonde. And I've just got it on floaty line. And I'm gonna go over in the shallower water. So I can actually see this. Fly. Should be able to see it fairly good. I've done this before, and you can actually see the rainbows pick it up. Yeah. 
I'm only in a couple feet of water now. Because yeah. of the glare, I'm not going to be able to see. Unless I throw it up toward the bank. Actually not seeing a lot of fish. This fly will still be on the bottom though. I mean, that doesn't need sink tip to go down a couple feet. It's, it's got a lot of lead tied into the fly itself. It's one thing about this fly, you gotta really take your time. Almost almost fall asleep retrieving it because it's so slow. It's my last cast. And it's one of those flies that you're not necessarily going to catch a lot of fish on. But I sincerely believe that you have a lot better chance of catching a big fish on this because if they, if they recognize what it is, the bigger fish do feed on these, both rainbows and browns. So just got to perfect it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.